Hey, what's up guys? 104th Maverick checking in with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use mark points in the F-18 Hornet to help you guys in your air-to-ground weapon delivery when working over target areas with multiple targets on the ground. Using mark points is a very efficient way of delivering air-to-ground ordnance and is also a fantastic way to track multiple enemy positions if you're working as a forward air controller airborne or FAC-A helping other friendly assets to find targets and deliver their weapons. In this video we're going to be attacking aircraft on the ground at a Syrian airbase using the GBU-38 JDAM with the lightning targeting pod. But you can use these same techniques with any air-to-ground weapon or with no air-to-ground weapons and just using the laser designator from your targeting pod for other aircraft to deliver weapons. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you can see here that we are feet dry over Syria, heading towards the target area, which in this mission is located at waypoint 1. We have waypoint 1 selected in the HSI, and we are roughly 30 nautical miles away from the target. We'll go ahead and check that our targeting pod is on, by checking that the FLIR switch is in the up position. We'll then go ahead and select the targeting pod image to the right DDI, and you'll see here that Waypoint Designate is not currently selected on Waypoint 1. Once we select Waypoint Designate, it'll automatically snap the targeting pod over to look at where the target area is located. So now that we can see on the targeting pod that it's looking at the correct area, we can start manipulating the controls. To do this, we need to make sure that our camera is selected as SOI, Sensor of Interest, and this is indicated by the diamond in the top right hand side of the screen. We do this by hitting the sensor control switch to the right to get it to the right DDI. If we were on the left hand screen, we would select sensor control switch left. Now that we have the targeting pod selected as sensor of interest, we can start manipulating where the camera is looking using the throttle designator controller switches up, down, left and right. We can use the radar elevation up and down buttons to zoom the camera in and out. And also by using the RAID FLIR field of view select button, we can switch between wide field of view and narrow field of view. Now that we see the target we want to attack, we press the throttle designator controller depress button to designate this position with the targeting pod. And we can see that a little diamond has appeared on the display to indicate that this is our current designated position. Now this is where the magic happens. We're going to designate four different positions on the ground with enemy targets located at them and give them all a mark point each. This will enable us to then select each mark point one by one with the targeting pod and it will automatically snap the camera to that position. This is a fantastic way of setting up your bombing runs so that you get all or most of your bombs off in one pass and not have to keep going around the racetrack to get enough separation to drop your next weapon while you search for another target. So here is how we do it. We have our first target selected by pressing the throttle designator controller depress switch over the target and we've confirmed that we have a diamond over the target to indicate that this is our designated point. We now come down to our HSI and select MK1 for mark point 1 on the top row. This will now assign this point as mark point 1. Next we start moving the camera around and using our zoom and field of view keys as mentioned earlier to locate the second target that we want to attack. Once we have found it, we press the throttle designator controller depress switch again to designate the new position and then come back to the HSI and select mark point 2. Once we have mark point 2 selected, we do the exact same thing again while we're looking for our third target, locate the target, press TDC to press, and then select it as mark point 3. And finally for our fourth bomb, we're going to find the last target, press TDC to press again over the target, confirm that we have the designator diamond, and then press mark point 4 on the HSI. We now have four stored mark points in the aircraft. Now that we have our four targets selected, let's go ahead and get our bombs configured for release. Normally by this point in the attack run, I would already have this done, but I wanted to leave it till now so I can show anyone who is not familiar with the JDAM how to use it in this target of opportunity mode. 
So we obviously want to be in air to ground mode, which you can see on the left above the master arm switch. And the first thing we want to do after that is make sure that the JDAM is selected and we can see here that it is boxed on the top left. We have four JDAMs on board the aircraft on two different stations. We want to make sure that both stations are selected to target of opportunity mode and not pre-planned mode. We do this by changing the selection from pre-plan mode to target of opportunity mode and then hitting the step button to change to the next pylon and again changing it from PP to TOO mode. We see here that the E fuse or electronic fuse is currently set to off which basically means the bombs are not live and this is indicated to you on the heads up display by showing dud with the weapon selected. To arm the weapons we simply need to select the E fuse to INST for instant. We then confirm that instant has been selected and that dud is no longer showing on the heads up display. Now all the hard work is done and we're ready to cash in our checks and start putting some warheads on foreheads. So let's get our first target lined up for weapon release. Woohoo! Okay, the first thing we want to do is get our first mark point back up displayed in our targeting pod. We do this by cycling our waypoint selector down past waypoint 0 all the way down to M1 for mark point 1. Once this has been done, we can go ahead and reselect waypoint designate on the HSI and the targeting pod will snap back to our first mark point, showing us our first target. We then check that we are in range to drop the weapon and select the master arm to live in preparation to drop our first bomb. Now it's important to note at this point, if you've designated the mark point from far away from the target, it might be slightly off as you get closer because of the angle to the target from where it was initially selected. So it's important to visually check using the targeting pod how accurate your mark point is before dropping the weapon and quickly making some small adjustments before weapon release if required. Just remember to press TDC depress after adjusting the designated position before you drop the weapon. Now that our aim point has been adjusted, we can go ahead and release the beast. After our first weapon has been dropped, we then repeat the cycle for weapons 2, 3 and 4 by following the same steps. We want to select M2 for mark point 2 on the HSI and then reselect waypoint designate to snap the targeting pod to the target. Make any adjustments necessary and remember to redesignate by pressing TDC depress if we've made any changes and then drop the weapon. We then repeat the same steps for mark point 3 and mark point 4 remembering to press TDC depress again if we do make any adjustments to our designated point. And there we go, all four targets destroyed. So as you can see, it's a pretty powerful tool to use. As I mentioned earlier on, it can be used with any air to ground weapon, not just the JDAM. It's also a very helpful tool if you're doing FAC A operations and laser designating targets that you have spotted for other aircraft that are inbound to attack them. I hope this video helped and you guys learned something. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you found the video useful. And if you're not following me over on Twitch, head over to the link in the video description to catch me flying live in the DCS skies. Top Gun and Volleyball guys, I'm not Scott Manley. Fly safe.